everybody, Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com and welcome to the update for Wednesday, May 29th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. Plus, we get back into our thumbnail sketches in the NFL over under wins total with the New York Giants coming up on this report. First, a quick note, got a great discount going on over at DocSports.com today through Friday. It starts at 6 a.m. Eastern, 5 a.m. Central, 3 a.m. Pacific on a Wednesday morning and it goes right through 11 p.m. Eastern on Friday night. Here's what it is. You get 20% off either Major League Baseball or the WNBA for a week or for a month. Weekly packages or monthly packages, 20% off. It's as simple as that. The code word, and I'm gonna tell you about how to use that in a minute, is MLB20WNBA. MLB20WNBA. You can get 20% off a weekly or a monthly package. Those two packages only in baseball and the WNBA. Again, it starts today, Wednesday, 6 a.m. Eastern time, and it runs through Friday night, 11 p.m. Eastern time. After Friday night, 11 p.m. Eastern, all the prices go back to normal. But here's what you do to get 20% off baseball and WNBA. You go to a, home, uh, to a handicapper's page. We'll use mine. You go to my homepage at DocSports.com. Let's say you click on the weekly Major League Baseball package. A little code box will pop up. It'll tell you to enter a code. And again, that code MLB20WNBA. MLB20WNBA. 20% off weekly or monthly packages of those two sports starting from 6 a.m. Eastern Time Wednesday right through 11 p.m. Eastern Time Friday night. Also wanted to mention that I've yet to jump into the WNBA. We're going to wait a few more games, but starting next week, we will be involved in the WNBA. We are involved in baseball. Uh, last night, kind of a drag because we did win here on the free pick uh, report with the White Sox, but we had the Twins. They win, but we got a scratch because we had a pitching change. Our pitcher Perez did not go on uh, Tuesday, so unfortunately, uh, we get a no play on Tuesday for the premium picks, but at least that free pick got back in the win column last night with those Chicago White Sox. And they got a free pick in baseball coming up in a bit. We'll get to that. First, a quick note, man, what a busy couple of days coming up. Wednesday, we have the NHL, of course, game two between the Blues and the Bruins. And we're on a nice little run there, up over $1,300 for $100 per unit betters during our current playoff run, hitting 70%. With our last 10 picks, we'll be involved in Game 2 on Wednesday night at the Blues at the Bruins. PGA, I've got this week's matchups being released Wednesday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. And my top play this week, got two matchups, actually three matchups, I'm sorry, three matchups in this week's PGA. And the top matchup is a big six-unit play. Last week, a little bad luck because two of our three matchups featured golfers who withdrew. The one matchup that we had that actually both golfers went and played, uh, we won. We had uh, Molinari over Shafle. Shafle didn't make the cut. Molinari played right through Sunday. We cashed that ticket. So three matchups in this week's PGA, PGA action over at Muirfield. And again, the top play this week is a big six-unit head-to-head matchup play. And again, those will be released 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Wednesday. And of course, the tournament begins on Thursday morning. So go grab those on Wednesday. As far as baseball is concerned, we are involved in baseball. We're right back in action. We told you we're on an 80% winning ticket run going all the way back to last Thursday. And yesterday, of course, we had that no play with Perez scratching uh, before he took the mound on Tuesday, unfortunately, with the Twins going on to get the win. But we do have a big baseball play for you on Wednesday, so be sure to grab that also, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, over at DocSports.com. Of course, Thursday, we jump right into the NBA Finals Game 1 between the Warriors and the Toronto Raptors. So we'll talk more about that on tomorrow's video. But again, uh, all three PGA matchups will be re uh, released on Wednesday. We look to win this week with a big six-unit play. We've got the NHL Game 2 clash as we look to extend this run to 8-3 and three in the NHL playoffs. And we got a big play for you uh, in Major League Baseball riding this 80% winning ticket run. All available Wednesday morning, DocSports.com. All right, let's get to our next thumbnail sketch. We are in the NFC East, two teams to go today. We're going to talk about those New York Giants. Over under win total is six. And listen, normally I talk about the strengths and the weaknesses of a football team going into the new upcoming season. You know what those are with the New York Giants. You know Eli Manning is not what he used to be, not even close. Uh, you know what they're going to try to do with Odell Beckham being shipped off. They're going to try to run that football first and second and put as little pressure on uh, the arm of Eli Manning in that passing game as possible. They'll be able to run the ball for the most part at a decent rate, uh, not playoff bound rate, but a decent rate. 
And as far as the defense is concerned, pretty decent up front, weak in the secondary. So that's it. I just want to get right to the schedule because that's where this all comes into place if you're going to back the New York Giants this year. You know where they're good. You know where they're bad on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Take a look at the schedule, and this is why we cannot play or recommend playing under six wins with those New York Giants in 2019. And I'm going to put on my uh, specs here to make sure I get all the opponents correct. Uh, but listen, they, they start out at Dallas. They're getting seven and a half points there. After that, home Buffalo at Tampa Bay, home Washington. They could be thinking three and one, folks, after those first four games. And how about these five opponents? Home Arizona at Detroit, home Dallas, home Miami at Washington. There's a three and one potential start to their season, maybe losing outright at Dallas, although seven and a half feels like a lot of points right now. Let's say they go three and one with those teams I just gave you, and all they got to do is go three and two with those other five opponents I mentioned, and they've got six wins in, the, in, in only nine games that I've told you about. They've got seven more games to get one more win. Problem is, I don't know that they're going to get one more win on top of that six. There's a good chance they win six games in the nine that I just mentioned and don't win another contest. But here's the thing. I don't think they finish with any less than six wins in those nine games or nine opponents that I just mentioned. So I think the recommendation that's best here is just to stay away right now from the New York Giants. Don't play the under is what I'm saying. Stay away from it. A lean to the over. They've got a home game with Green Bay. It remains to be seen how good the Packers will be. That'll be later in the season. They've got a week 17 home game against the Eagles. The Eagles could be just, you know, going through the motions by week 17. That could be a so-called meaningless football game if the Eagles are playing well all season and really don't gain much from beating the New York Giants in week 17. And against, again, that's in New York. So it's a situation uh, where this team is not a team that I can recommend playing under. And the reason I say that, talk about the under with this team, is because so many people have already jumped on the bandwagon as though the Giants can't pull off six wins. But I just told you the schedule, and I just mentioned a couple of home spots later in the season where they could win a football game and get to seven wins. Listen, I get it about that draft. I understand as far as the draft was concerned. Uh, nobody liked the, uh, the selection of Daniel Jones out of Duke, uh, the kid who's going to play backup to Eli Manning while he learns the ropes. I understand that, but I like what they did on the defensive side of the football, both up front and in the secondary guys. And I actually gave the New York Giants Daniel Jones, part of the mix, I know that, but I give the New York Giants draft a B minus. I really do. I think they did a, some really good stuff on the defensive side of the football in areas that they need to prove upon. So give them a B minus in the draft. I, I think it's a team that wins six games this year. I really do. I don't think you should play this team under right now. Let's see what transpires between now and during preseason. Maybe we come back and we have a play over or under on the Giants. But again, with that schedule, I don't think they win less than six games, guys. So there's our recommendation. Not so much an over, but I, I wouldn't play the under. I couldn't recommend the under right now at six wins with the New York Giants. All right, our next thumbnail sketch, and we'll finish up the NFC East, will be the Washington Redskins. That'll either be on uh, Thursday or Friday's video. So be sure to keep watching these videos and check it out for that. And then we'll follow it up with the final three divisions of the NFC, and we'll be done with our thumbnail sketches. All right, again, before I get to the free pick for today on Wednesday, I uh, wanted to again mention what's going on over at DocSports.com for me. Not only do you have that code MLB20WNBA to get you 20% off either weekly or monthly packages in baseball or WNBA, good again from Wednesday, 6 a.m. Eastern through Friday night, 11 p.m. Eastern. Not only is that going on over at uh, DocSports.com today, but also uh, I've got, again, a big baseball play for Wednesday and we look to expand and improve on that 80% winning ticket run going back to last Thursday. And we've also got NHL game two. We've got our PGA matchups, three of them, including our biggest one yet, a six unit play for this week's uh, tournament at Muirfield. So all of that available Wednesday morning, DocSports.com. Let's get to our free pick for today on Wednesday. We're gonna head to Oakland. It's a day game. Uh, first pitch, 3.30 Eastern time, 12.30 p.m. Pacific time. And we're going to back, you know, we like him, Griffin Canning, on the road over Oakland and Daniel Mingdon. And listen, the Angels finally ended that big, long Oakland win streak, which had reached double figures. A lot of times on these teams, these daily sports teams that won a bunch of games in a row, lose that first one, have that streak snapped. A lot of times they come back and lose two straight. Now, that's not why we're recommending the Angels here. We're recommending the Angels because of Griffin Canning, who we think is going to be the Angels' ace a year or two from now. We really like him. I've talked about him enough over past videos, so I'm not going to spend a bunch of time talking about him here. Other than the fact that even last time out when he had to throw a lot of pitches, pitches, excuse me, 
He still had his control and left after five innings with the Angels holding a lead. We also like an anti-Daniel Mangdon play here. This guy's got an nice ERA, but check out his whip. It's almost a buck 50. And the reason is he walks a ton of batters. He's got 11 walks in 16 plus innings. They'll get to him in this one. Let's look at the Angels real quickly on offense. Just the month of May alone, which is, you know, almost over with. But look at the month of May. They're top eight in team batting average, OBP, and OPS. They're hitting the baseball. They're getting on the bases. They got to do a little bit better of driving, a little bit better job of driving in those guys that get on base. But listen, they, they are likely to get some free passes here by Mengden. And then, of course, they can drive in a few runs, pick up the victory. So our free pick is a play on the Angels with uh, Griffin Canning on the mound over Mengden and the A's. The Angels, the free pick for Wednesday. And again, that game goes around 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. That's going to do it for me on a Wednesday. If you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. You know what to do. Let's put Wednesday in the win column right back here Thursday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific time.